All right, welcome back. It's Freshen Up Friday, and our favorite professional organizer, Jen Van Buskirk, is here to help us organize our technology. If you have chargers, cords, and electronic devices cluttering up your counters, Jen has some great ideas to tidy it up. And Jen, I need help because yes. I think most of us do. Like do. all the cell phones and the iPads, and I try to like corral them, but it just ends up being a mess. Well, you know, technology moves so fast, mm -hmm. and so we end up with all this extra stuff, and then we never have the time to really think about, what am I going to do with this old iPhone 4 mm -hmm. or this old laptop or computer tower? Yeah. And it just ends up going in a corner and taking up space. Yeah, so one good thing to do with it is get rid of it. I know you're all right. purging, so, yeah. but there's some really great causes you can donate your cell phones to or your computers to as well. How does yeah, this work? Yeah, exactly. So with your computer, uh, the biggest challenge that I hear is that you have all your information on yeah. it. You lost the cord, so you can't even turn it on, but you know there's some photos on there, mm -hmm. maybe some sensitive information. So what are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. So there's a really good company here in Mount Pleasant called Mount Pleasant Computer Center okay. that I've worked with, and mm -hmm. they make it really easy. I think it was like $50 to take the data off of it. They put it on okay. a hard drive for you and then they'll dispose of the device for you so it makes it really That's easy. That's great. So you take it there they handle it all for you and you're safe in knowing that there's nothing left. Yes, on it. exactly. Okay. And you know, realistically, are you going to spend that time to do that no, yourself? No, absolutely not. Yeah. It's going to sit in the closet for exactly. five more years. Cell phones, you yeah. brought up a really good point that you can donate your cell phone to a really good cause. Yeah, How so through Verizon they have a um, program called Hope Line mm -hmm. and so you can donate cell phones and they use the proceeds from that to support uh, survivors of domestic violence and so it's That's really great. easy you can either drop it off at any Verizon store mm -hmm. which it doesn't even have to be a Verizon phone it could be AT&T or whatnot okay. um, and if you don't have the time to do that you can go online and print off postage mm -hmm. and mail it in and it's prepaid so that's, that's really easy that's great knowing yeah. that you're clean, cleaning out your counters or drawers and it's all going to help someone exactly in need wonderful um, for the items that we are keeping which is still a lot in a yes. lot of families cords this is my biggest struggle you know they're all over how do you organize them yeah and you have precious space you know say you don't have a whole lot of drawers in your kitchen mm -hmm. one of the drawers is dedicated to just cords mm -hmm. I mean it's such a waste of space yeah. and you, I've never found a, a drawer of cords where you needed even half of them. Okay. So before you start organizing them, make sure you go every, through every cord. Okay. You know, get your husband in there, make sure he knows what everything's before going for. Before you toss for. it, do we yeah, need this? just go through everything. It doesn't mm -hmm. take that long. And then whatever you're left with, you're going to do... I love um, paper clips. So these nice okay. little pinchy ones. Mm -hmm. And they're so easy. Label maker. Every, yeah, so I got <laughs> my label that. maker out. I got some cute little tape. Okay. And so you can just label what they are. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I know what these are, my little headphones. But it holds yeah. everything together. Uh -huh. It's really easy to retrieve and just put them in a nice bin. And this is great for things. I noticed you have, like, camera there. Stuff that you don't use. You know, your phone cord's always going to stay out, but stuff that you don't use every day. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I just kind of put these as examples. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you're got your power strip, you're down there, you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to unplug, mm -hmm. you know, this is a way to just have it nicely organized, yeah. labeled, Thanks and even make it a little bit fun, if technology can be fun, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is just a way to um, just stay organized, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's all about not wasting your time and being more, like, mm -hmm. productive and efficient, and so these are just some ideas of how to do that. Sure. Do you recommend that people have, like, a charging station, if we've got multiple devices, like, one spot in the home dedicated to that, or is it better to have an iPhone charger here, you know, an iPad charger over there. It really just depends on how the family works. So okay. if you have an area, like say when you walk into your kitchen area mm -hmm. where the phones always end up, let's put a charging station there, right there so that everything okay. is consolidated. But if the kids versus the parents use things mm -hmm. differently, then you know you just okay. got to listen to that and see what's going to make the most sense. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about is the iCloud. Yes. Or cloud, any form of clouds you know, to put stuff on. And this is kind of a scary thing. There was the movie out where they talked about, oh, it's in the cloud. But mm -hmm. you know, um, it's something that can make your life so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's already so hard to organize all your files on, mm -hmm. say, your laptop. Sure. But having to do it on your desktop, too, mm -hmm. you know, that's just added time, added stress. Mm -hmm. So just put it up in the cloud, which is basically, you know, a way that you can make it so that everything that's on your laptop mm -hmm. is in a folder. Okay. It's exactly the same way on your desktop. Okay. So it makes it really easy. You can use something like Google Drive mm -hmm. or Dropbox. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you don't know how to do this, and it's really, like I said, it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. It only takes a couple minutes if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, Mount Pleasant Computer Center also can help you with that. So, um, you know, it's it's easy to kind of get behind on the times, mm -hmm. but this is something that's not going away. Yeah. It's going to make your life so <laughs> much must, easier. We have to embrace it. Yes. So might as well organize it. <laughs> Jen, such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Freshen up Friday, cleaning up for spring. And up next, we're going to talk about food again. We've got the River Dogs with their opening day and all their new food, some delicious stuff that they're offering this year. So stick with us.